Hi there. Welcome to this tutorial on the trapezium rule. Now suppose we had some function of x, y equals some function of x, and we were looking at the area bounded by the curve, the x-axis and the lines x equals a and x equals b. Now to work out this area exactly, what we would need to do would be to integrate the function of f of x with respect to x going between the limits x equals a and x equals b. So this would give us an exact value to that area. Now sometimes working out this integral can be impossible or even very tricky. And it's quite usual to just get an approximation to this value. So getting an approximation to this value is like finding an approximation to this area. And we can do this by splitting this up into trapeziums. And hence, we call it the trapezium rule. What we do is we take strips of equal width, something like this, and we work our way across the diagram. I'll come in from the other end here as well working backwards from this end, strips of equal width then. And obviously there's going to be a lot more strips depending on the distance between A and B. So I'll just mark these in then with dotted lines. And what we do is we consider drawing a straight line across the top of each one. And what we get then is a set of trapeziums. And so by adding the areas of each of the trapeziums up, totaling them gives us an approximation to the area under the graph. In other words, it gives us an approximation to this integral. The more strips we have, the closer that approximation will be. Now it is important then to make sure that the width of each strip here is exactly the same, okay? Now, I'm going to show you without proof the formula that we get when we work out and total the sum of all of these trapeziums. What we get is this, that the area is equal to the width of each strip, okay, let's just do that in green, so we'll just put that as the width, okay, of strip, and then what we do is we halve this value, okay, divide it then by 2, and we multiply this all by the first height, the height of this first strip here, so we'll just put the first height, And then, to this, we add two times the sum of the middle heights. So we'll add together all these heights through here. Not this last height, okay? So it's two times the sum of the middle heights. I'm giving you this formula in words purely because I feel it's a lot easier to work with rather than the algebraic version that you'll see in most formula books. And then we finally add to this the last height, this one here, okay, plus the last height. So this then gives us a method of finding the area under the graph just by adding together these trapeziums. But it is an approximate value then to this integral. So we'll just border this off, okay? And I would strongly encourage you then to learn this particular method. All right. Now I've got an example here which should demonstrate the use of this. Use the trapezium rule to find the approximate value of this integral. The integral of the root of x minus 1 with respect to x going between the limits x equals 3 and x equals 7. 
taking strips of width one unit. Now when I ever do the questions like this, what I like to do is just draw a quick sketch. It doesn't necessarily have to be an accurate sketch, it just gives me the opportunity just to see what's going on. And what I've got is some curve, y equals the root of x minus 1. Again, at the moment it doesn't really matter what it looks like, I'm just going to draw a curve like that, y equals root of x minus 1. And then I'm looking for the area bounded between the curve, the x-axis, and the lines x equals 3, the lower limit of the integral, to x equals 7. And you can see I haven't drawn this to scale at all. So I need to split this up into strips of width 1 unit. So the next one's going to be at x equals 4, and then we've got 5, and then we've got 6, and then 7. OK? And so we're going to join these with straight lines to make the trapeziums. So if I'm to work out that integral, let's just put it down, we've got the integral then of the root of x minus 1 with respect to x going between the limits x equals 3 and x equals 7. Now this is going to have an approximate value given by this area then underneath the graph with these trapeziums. So we can see by the formula we've got to do the width of a strip and the width of a strip here is going to clearly be one unit. So we've got one then and it's divided by 2, and to this we multiply this all by the first height. Now the first height will be this height here, and it will be the y value when x equals 3. So if we put 3 into here, we've got the root of 3 minus 1, in other words, the root of 2. And then we've got to do plus 2 times the sum of the middle heights. So we've got to look then at this height, plus this height, plus this height. So when x equals 4, this height will be the root of 3. So we've got the root of 3, and we add the next height when x equals 5, so it's going to be the root of 4. And then plus the final height here will be when x equals 6, that will be the root of 5. So that is twice the sum of the middle heights, and now we just simply add the last height, which is when x equals 7. That's going to give us root 6. Let's just finish that bracket off there. Now if you put this through your calculator, you'll find that the answer that you get is 7.899 and so on. And rounding this to one decimal place, say, tells us that this integral is going to be approximately 7.9 then to one decimal place, 1 dp. And if you wanted to get a better approximation to this integral, just take more strips. Let the width of each strip go to, say, half a unit rather than one unit. The problem is, the more strips you have, the longer it takes to work out. But anyway, I hope it's given you some idea anyway as an introduction to using the trapezium rule.